This is Dr. Kim Martini from the Seabird Scientific Science Team. One of my favorite things to do is to talk about sensors and the science and technology that make them work in the ocean. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about conductivity cells. This is one kind of CTD that's used in oceanography. CTD stands for conductivity, temperature, and depth. Along with temperature and pressure, conductivity is used to determine the physical properties of seawater, such as salinity and density. At Seabird, a glass cell and three electrodes are the core of the conductivity sensor. When you take off the guard, you first see the encapsulant. This is a black urethane that protects the glass and wiring from salt water and pressure, making it for suitable for use in the ocean. On some conductivity cells, we use a pink epoxy like this one. In this, you can more clearly see the internal parts of the conductivity cell. There's the glass tube and one, two, three electrodes. These electrodes generate an electric field used to measure the conductivity of the seawater inside the glass tube. There's two advantages to this design here, and I'm gonna to talk to you about it using this schematic. So in black is the urethane encapsulant, in blue is the borosilicate glass cell, and then in purple are the platinized electrodes. The three electrodes keeps the electric field completely inside the cell. So by doing this, you're measuring a very precise volume of water and you're not susceptible to proximity errors. So if something like a barnacle grows on the outside of your cell, it's not gonna affect the measurement. In inductive style conductivity sensors, you have an electric field that goes on the outside of the sensor. So if you have anything that gets into it, it is susceptible to proximity errors. So if you have fouling or barnacles, it will affect your measurement and the accuracy. So back to the schematic here. The second advantage that we have is that is just the shape of this actual sensor. It's really simple. It's a tube. So by having this tube shape, we know very well how it compresses, and we can also do things like pump water through it to have very controlled flow. So this controlled flow replicates the really stable environment of a calibration bath. And by having that stable environment, you can get extremely accurate measurements using this kind of design. What about glass in the ocean? Fear not, the ruggedized design has been tested in the harshest conditions all over the world colonized by crustaceans, living under sea ice for months, whacked repeatedly by sea ice, and even thrown out of airplanes. Well, that's the end. But if you want to learn more, there's links to articles and papers in the description below. Seabird Scientific, for scientists, by scientists.